know is because you are already a giant in storytelling. So why is it important to have a partner? What, what kind of what's the importance of having the right partner? It, uh, listen, it, it, the, that is so key. I I, I, I grew up with BET, and I, like all of us did, and I think that. And so we tried to do this about 10 years ago. It didn't quite work out. So we, this opportunity we got right now to do it is phenomenal. Because I got these great, incredible shows that I'm really excited about. I, I cannot wait for y'all to see them. If y'all love, how many of you love the have and have not? Okay, I got something for you though. It's called The Oval. I got something for you. It's, it's, it's The Oval, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a story it's set in the White House. White president, uh, black first lady, they're married. And um, it's about their drama and what goes on. It's not a political show. It's a show about what goes on behind the scenes with them. We follow the housekeeper home. We follow the maids home. We follow secret service home. So it's a, it's a rich, rich story. And I'm, I'm excited about it. That's one show. That's just one show? That's one show. That's one show. That's one show. But let's go back a little bit. So why was this they time? They need to turn your mic up. They need to turn your microphone up. They need to turn my microphone yeah. up. Turn my microphone on. All right, y'all hear me a little better now? Yeah. Well, why was this the right time to partner with BET? I, you know, I just feel like where where I am in the career, I, you know, I'd love to work with Oprah and work with her for a long time. But having this opportunity with BET, it's, it's a network that all of us know. So the timing was so right because just what's, what's happening with them and they're in this great transition and this great evolution. I think that me joining with BT in this evolution is going to change the whole face of it. And but what is also important is I want y'all to know is that, hear, hear me black people when I say this, people are fighting for your eyeballs. Like all these networks are fighting for your eyeballs like never before. What they have realized is that black people watch more television than anybody. So don't leave home and forget that we're there when I go and watch somebody else. So make sure you are you are giving the support to us as black people. Can you do that? So thank you. You're gonna be B B E T proper yeah. cable. But then what is B E T plus? B E T plus, I'm glad you have. B E T plus is our new streaming service. How many have Netflix? Netflix? You got Amazon? Well, BET Plus is a streaming service that I partner with BET to do that is where all my movies, all my content, all my plays, new movies, Medea, new Medea will be there, all that's going to be there. So when you get this streaming service, you are supporting black business. So get this streaming service, I promise you, there are going to be amazing titles on it. And I'm going to put, I got a new show that I'm putting on it called Ruthless because something happens in the Oval and the only way you're going to see, be able to see what, where that story goes is by watching the streaming service. So, oh, so, so it's already like a spin-off. It's a spin-off of what, what's happening on both shows. So, so I'm excited about that. Okay. But you've always brought us new stars. It's kind of like what you mentioned at the beginning of your speech. Yeah. Like, you gave us Trevante Rhodes. You gave platforms to Viola Davis, Tammy Newton, Idris Elba. Why is it important for you to be to provide a mirror for people who are in, who are underrated in Hollywood? Well, because there are lots of us who are extremely talented, incredible people that don't get an opportunity. So if we're going to keep hiring the same old people to do the same things, then I'm like, okay, y'all hire the same people. I'm going to go find new people. So at a time when Taraji couldn't get work, or Idris, or Viola, Kerry Washington, Sophia Vergara, you know, you know, all of those people, man, that have come through the doors of Tyler Perry Studios. So to be in a position where I can help other people get their shot, that's incredible. And it's a huge responsibility. So I want to make sure I help as many new faces as I can. And, and I'm, I'm really excited about the ones that I've seen so far. Now, what do you look for in a new star? It, it, it's that it thing. It's that it factor. This, you, you can't, and I don't even care if, how, if, if they are uh, just starting out. But if they got that special thing, I was like, that, that kid's got something. Like this kid, um, J.D. McQuarrie, yes, who was yeah. uh, in the new Lion King. He was just on my reboot of House of Pain before that. Yeah. I'm like, the kid's special. He's got something. So I can usually spot it. Like, it, And it doesn't have to be, it's not a shape. It's not a size. It's not, it is just what, it's, it's something that's special. Now, I know you don't want to put one star in front of the other, but is there a star on one of your new projects that you are really loving? I mean, that you were, not, I don't want to say really loving, but... It's, it's too new for me to start picking my favorite children. Okay. So, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold up on picking my favorite children. But, but, uh, but yeah, there, there's some really new, exciting new faces that people are gonna love. Okay. Parks are making good money. Then why, 
why can't she? Because what what she was paid for, I won't name the movie, but what she was paid for that movie was awful. Yeah. And for me to, I, what I did was I set her rate so high that any movie she got that's after right. that, they had to pay her that or more. by setting setting quote so you set your quote so I set it so high that everybody had to pay it and then just set it even higher when we did acrimony together. So yeah. now I gotta pay her more because she made a macro. Oh but, but if I don't do it then who's gonna do it? Come on, so we can't depend, depend on nobody else to do it. We gotta do it. Now we've talked a lot about what you've been putting on the screen but behind the screen you have been really diverse. And you're president of um, production in the woman, Michelle. So black, tell us my about president, My president of production is a black woman. Yes. Yeah. So why are you Stand saying? up. She right there. Stand up, Michelle. Right here. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Why is that important for you? I mean, because, and, and talk to us about how many people it takes to put together a Tyler Perry production. We got, we got, we got about... Right, with the, all the shows running, we'll have about five or six hundred people when it's all said and done that are that are putting these shows together. Yeah. And for me to give, and if you if you, this is the thing. I, I, every time I'm on a movie set that's not mine, I look around, and if you see one black person, you see a lot. Wow. You see a lot. All those movies you love, 99% of the time there are no black people working behind the scenes. That's right. But that's when right. you see mine, you trust. <laughs> when, when you see mine. It looks like this. Because because we are just as talented, we are just as smart, we are just as. And, and my guy, man, my my team, when they when they are done working for me, they can go work anywhere else, right? Because it's a boot camp. They kill it. They're amazing. And we do the impossible. We shoot more pages in a day than any show combined on television. I kid you not. So so. So it's important that you find the diamonds in the rough and the talent and people who are hungry. That's why I love new people because they're hungry. They're like, what do we got to do? Let's get this done. Let's, yeah. let's make it happen. And I've been that way all my career. Have you seen the foundation for a lot of your storytelling? What now, what feeds that storytelling now? Because you, you just seem to dispute stories. I, you know, I, I, love, I love telling stories. Like right now, the new show, I have another new show that's coming on BT called Sisters. It's about four women in their 30s dating. And let me tell you something. This thing is hilarious. It's so fun because they are, because I, this, this is what inspired me to do it. I got all these women that work in my office, and sometimes they be in the break room. I just hear them talking about dating and how tough it is, or how what this man doing, what that man is doing. I was like, then that is a show. That's so the show. inspiration comes all around. So I, I'll sit and have a conversation and have a, come up with 20 pages or something. But Sisters is a show that I know that a lot of y'all gonna relate to. Cause yeah, yeah, look, look, she got a hand up already. <laughs> Anybody who ever been dating somebody and didn't quite work out, Anybody who's been dating somebody, you're like, I'm not quite sure if this situation's for me. Or anybody who's been like, I really love this person, why can't we make it work? We talk about all that in the show, so it's really good. All right. All new faces. All new all faces. New faces. Yeah. I, cannot, I cannot wait. All right, going back to that, how many of you guys saw Tyler Perry's epic BET Awards speech? Yeah. They honored you with the Ultimate Icon Award which is overdue and still, you'll probably win it again next year. But when you talked about, really what I took away from that, you, you really are a man who's married your passion with a purpose. Was that always the goal? And I want to know also, what is it like walking around those thousands of acres, like you said, a, a former Confederate army camp? What is it like in, in, in you standing in your success, standing as the man you are today? It's, it's, I tell you, it blows me away, and it's hundreds of acres, maybe hundreds, it blows me away to be, to understand the history of, of what that place was, and what it is now, and how many families live there, how many people live there, how many people fought to keep black people as, as slaves. It, it, it's humbling to me to, to be like, I walk around and go, wait a minute, I own this? It took me a minute to really wrap my brain around it. And I think that if, if, if we as black people start to really concentrate on where we come from, what we've been through, what our ancestors went through, hell, even our mamas went through, just to get us to where we are, I, I, I think there'd be a shift if, 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 if the level of appreciation would go back to those people, I think that our whole lives would change. Because we wouldn't be complaining about not getting a new pair of red bottles. You know what I mean? We, we'd be somewhat grateful that we just have shoes. So, so 
so as I'm walking around there, I'm just, I'm humbled and I'm grateful and I'm thankful and I'm just reminded that, that it wasn't that long ago where black people weren't even allowed to be in most places in this city. So, so I'm grateful, yeah. Last question. Now, I know with your new partnership, you're still going to be directing, you're still writing, you're still content. But when are we going to see Thespian Tyler Perry again? Are we going to see you as an actor in any of these new shows? I, I might show up in one or two. I might show up in one or two, but i tell you what, what, what we're doing. We're going to do, did, did y'all see the Jeffersons live? Yeah. We're going to do Medea, Brown, Cora, Aunt Bam live on BET. Live. Now listen. I ain't never did nothing live on television like that, so it's gonna be it's gonna be really fun to see how, how much how many mistakes I make. But but that's that'll probably be the next thing that people see. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Do you have a date for these new programs? This, everything starts in the fall, and uh, that live show is in November. So, yeah. Okay. yeah. Thank you, Mr. Tyler Perry. Thank you. Everybody.